God speaks on climate change. As climate change continues to be a topic among many politicians, scientists and everyday people, it is time that we interview God, our Creator, as to what is really going on. I've been suspicious about the motives, so as a person who hears from God at a conversation level, I thought that I should interview him. I am aware that God will lead me with questions that I should ask, and here comes the first one. Father God, is climate change real? Always, is his reply. What do you think of scientists' claims that man is causing it? Folly of not believing what I've written. I've given them a book that they choose to ignore, that foretold these things. Man must listen, or he will be lost for eternity, not as a species, but as individual souls in eternal torment. I sent my son Jesus, which is myself in human body, to warn of this and also of the things to come. The earth is being shaken by me, and there is more to follow. As with the days of Babel, man is prideful, believing that he is not only responsible for climate change, but can fix it. Only I can. You are about to meet someone that claims that he can, and it is the devil himself manifesting in a man's body. You already know his name and his face, and he will deceive many, including many of my believers. Be warned. This question is Alan's desire, but I will allow it. What about carbon causing it? The truth is that carbon levels is merely an indicator of reduced vegetation, nothing more. It is meant to be in the air, and without it all life will cease. I have written the number 666 in my word, the Bible, for a reason, and here it is. It is the basis of the lie that the Antichrist will use to rally men together. And simple chemistry will teach you that the pure form of carbon has six neutrons, six protons, and six electrons as I made it. Man, animals, and plants are all 666 carbon life forms. This is how I made them. Satan hates my creation, especially mankind, whom I love as my children. I cry daily as I watch billions go to their eternal torment because they did not accept me as their father and Jesus as their means of salvation. Such a simple process, but only a few accept my gift of eternity in my love. Why do we believe that carbon dioxide is poisonous to the environment? It is a lie that carbon dioxide is a poison, but the absence of oxygen prevents your bodies from converting energy and you will drown in the atmosphere. Trees and other vegetation use the energy from the sun to extract the carbon needed to grow and release the oxygen that you need to breathe out the carbon as carbon dioxide. To tax carbon dioxide is to tax the air that you breathe. What is causing the climate change? I am. When men will turn to me as their provider, I will heal their lands and bodies.